et enfermé. Ok, je crois que c'est Bob, Greenland Paddle. Paddle height est bon. C'est une stroke slightly vertical stroke. Je vous donnerai votre meilleure speed et votre power, surtout pour des conditions comme like this. Looking for torso rotation. What I like to see is the zipper on the PFD move a little more from side to side. That way you know you're moving your body and not your arms. And that takes stress off your shoulders. So it's a good relaxed stroke. Yep, right here I'm not seeing much body movement, but I see more arm work. So get that torso rotation all the way down to the base of the seat. Your posture today actually looks very good. Sitting up straight, chin up. All right, this is Bob, Greenland Paddle. Like the previous round, your posture is good. What we're looking for this time is a little more torso rotation. So that zipper on your PFD should really be swinging from side to side in harmony with your hips moving rotating from side to side, and that'll be less work for your arms and shoulders. Posture looks good, your head's up. You have a little more rotation to get that catch in front of your feet, and again, that'll also help your shoulders. But good economy, looks like you could paddle all day. So what we want to see is torso rotation, so your life jacket should be moving from side to side. Right now you're paddling more with your arms, and your paddle looks very long, which is good for low angle paddling, but to go faster and to go more vertical, that'll limit you. So what you'll learn to do is engage your whole body, pushing with the leg on the side of the stroke, and then turning your body Your hips and your arms should be in lockstep, so your body should move as much as your arms. But you look very relaxed. And also, imagine you have a beach ball in front of your chest. You want to get the paddle shaft a little further away from your chest. But nice and quiet, and it looks like you're having fun. Shelly? Yeah. Just one more? So you really want to rotate your body, your, your zipper on your life jacket should go from side to side. Looks like you're powering with your arms. If you can get your body and legs going, it'll let you paddle a lot easier and a lot farther. For that length of paddle, you need to widen your hands on the shaft a little bit. If you were to put that paddle on top of your head, you would have a right angle bend in each elbow. And you could probably go with a much shorter paddle. It would be easier to get in the water, give you a little more speed. That way? Right. Okay, this is Bob, busted rudder. Very good pace. Very good EC pace or even faster. You're holding, if you want more speed, you can hold the paddle more vertical, but for a long distance like the EC, I like a lower paddle position that you're doing. Good speed. I like to see a little more torso rotation. And your pushing hand is coming down a little bit, so keep remember to sight the horizon. That'll give you a little more rotation, but can't fault your speed. You're leaving awake. Looks really good. So again, your paddle height looks just like a surf ski paddler. It looks good for covering long distance. If you need to sprint, you can bring it up more vertical. Pushing hand looks good. You're crossing the center line, going almost to the opposite gunnel. Speed is good. You're bearing the paddle fully. 
torso rotation looks good. Just make sure you're rotating all the way down to your butt in your seat. Try to get another three or four inches on your catch if you can, right in front of your feet. But good job. This is John and the Chinook. Uh, torso rotation looks good in the sense that your pushing hand is siding the horizon very nicely. You're going across the center line. Your, your paddle, though, looks very long, so uh, you might want to consider getting a shorter paddle. That would let you go more vertical. I'm seeing your PFD go from side to side, so I'm seeing good torso rotation. Your punching arm again is working very well. Good speed. Yep, you're paddling with your torso, looks good. On your pulling arm, your bottom arm, try to keep that straight. Alright, John, as before, your pushing hand looks really good. You're siding horizon. You could use a, either a slightly wider grip on the paddle. I recommend a shorter paddle. You're not going to be able to go any more vertical with that paddle. <laughs> I missed way. my turn. Wrong turn. This way. And on your catch, get that blade in in front of your feet. A lot of go left on me. This is Seawolf Greenland Paddle. Paddle height looks good. The vertical paddle like that will give you good speed. As it gets more bouncy, you'll bring it down. You're doing a little bit of flying your elbows or the chicken wing. What that'll do, it'll be you're having to lift more arm and bone per stroke. So what we'd like to see is get your shoulders pointing down and just raise the paddle by bending from the elbow. Speed looks good. Your pushing hand is crossing all the way over the center line. You're dropping your hands a bit at the very end, so remember to sight the horizon, try to keep that top pushing hand level. Boat speed is good. Torso rotation looks good. You can always add a little more, so strive to have that PFD go from side to side. All right, Charles, from this angle, see you're uh, flying your angle, your elbows a bit. That could be from the paddle. You might need a slightly wider paddle shaft. I'd like to see a lot more frontal torso rotation, so really see that PFD zipper go from side to side. I like your paddle angle. You get more vertical, the more speed you'll get. And you can lower that if it gets a bit bumpy. And on posture, a little bit more chest out, chin up. But it looks like a strong, graceful, and fluid stroke. Good, good torso rotation. Your pushing hand is going all the way across the center line to the other gunnel. Vertical paddle, that's good if you want speed. If you want more stability, you can lower it a bit. It just depends on conditions. Pushing hand is dropping slightly, but it's still very good. Remember to sight the horizon. Now I can see your torso rotation, your PFD is going from side to side. It means you're using good legs, good body. And you're still leaning forward a bit, a little bit of a lunge, so just rotate more. You don't have to lean forward. Alright, here's Deborah, also known as Widgie Woman. Seeing good torso rotation, your life jacket is really moving from side to side, that's good. 
you're dropping your pushing hand a little bit, so sight the horizon with that pushing hand. Kayak speed looks good. You, uh, you're leaning forward a bit on the catch, so stay, stand straight and just this rotate. Way. Oh, sorry. Just come around. We're gonna again. have to redo that one. So for your catch, instead of lunging forward, rotate more. Filming? Yes. All right, Bob. Good cadence. Your pushing hand is siding the horizon nicely. Looking to see that PFD zipper move from side to side. Sorry, it's in Bob Santiago. Out that way? Yep. Left. Wait, wait, I'm getting di different directions. <laughs> right or left? <laughs> we'll always listen to the woman, you know that. <laughs> Santiago. Your pushing hand on one side is not crossing the center line, so that means you probably can get more torso rotation. That pushing hand should go all the way across the center line, almost to the other gunnel. I'd like to see that PFD zipper moving much more from side to side, so rotate all the way down to the seat. And make sure you bury the blade completely right up to that yellow band. So right now you're not fully burying the blade all the time, but you have good speed. Okay, wing paddle. I think this is Bob. Not sure. Good aggressive stroke. You're crossing the center line on every stroke with your pushing hand. Looks good. Keeping your pushing hand relatively level with the horizon, that's good. On one side, you're not fully bearing the blade on your right side. Like to see your legs pumping up and down. Yep, you're doing that. It's Petit Tom. Good job, Tom. All right, here's Tom. Looks like a very aggressive, powerful stroke, good, good pace, good race cadence. Your pushing hand is level with the horizon, it's not dropping, that's excellent. Your pushing hand is going all the way across the center line, it's good. Seeing good leg work, your knees are moving up and down, that's excellent. If you want more speed, you can go more vertical, maybe with a shorter paddle. Looks good. Your technique is really looking good. <laughs>